I have a Wi-Fi problem here in this room, also in the room directly below it. I cannot get a good, decent signal from my Wi-Fi network if I'm in this room or the one below it. But today, I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to fix it using this device from Ubiquity. This is the Swiss Army Knife. Disregard the name. The name is not important. I don't know why they named it that. Actually, I do, but it doesn't matter. To explain why this is going to solve a problem, I need to give a little bit of backstory or explanation for how Wi-Fi works. When you set up your Wi-Fi in your home, typically people have a single access point. They, they go to Walmart, they buy themselves a, a Netgear router that's got all these antennas on it, and they're like, all right, it's got to work. It looks like an alien spaceship. It's going gonna, it's gonna to solve all of our Wi-Fi problems. And they take it and they plug it in down in their basement at the far end of their house and then expect to be able to connect up 30, 40, 50 wireless devices on it and everything is going to work perfectly. And for anybody out there who has done that, you're probably thinking, yeah, it didn't work. Or maybe you got super lucky and it actually does work. But more often than not, that approach does not provide effective Wi-Fi service in your home. Why? Why doesn't that work? Well, to simplify things down to a super basic, oversimplified way, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an analogy. Imagine that you're standing in your house and you need to call your kids to tell them that dinner is ready. And they're upstairs at the other end of the house in their bedrooms. And you yell and you yell and you yell, but they can't hear you. So you get out a bullhorn and the bullhorn amplifies your voice and it blasts it out to the entire house and finally they can hear you. But they yell back and you can't really hear them. So they have to get a bullhorn. And so then they're using bullhorns to speak back to you. But as you're talking, sometimes the messages, because it's not super clear, it gets garbled. They don't understand. So they ask you to repeat it. And so then you repeat it. Anyway, you get the idea. When you set up a single router, it has to blast the signal through the entire house. So whether you're standing right next to it or three levels up on the other end of the house, it's blasting that signal out at you. So that's one issue. I think that's pretty obvious. It's not ideal. The second issue is if you just have a single Wi-Fi access point, all of your wireless devices all have to connect to that one device. And so all of the devices in your house are having to talk to a single Wi-Fi access point. And it can only talk to, you know, one at a time, maybe two at a time, but it, it is limited. It can't just talk to everybody all at once. The same way you, standing in your living room, can't yell at this kid and that kid and your spouse over here. You can't talk to them all at the same time. You have to say something to them, hear back, then you turn to the other person, say something, hear back, turn to the other person. You get the idea. So, so the issue is, is that you're overloading one central device with all of your Wi-Fi devices. So you've got your phones, you've got your Apple TVs, you've got your Rokus, you've got your laptops, you've got your iPads, you have your security cameras, you've got your doorbell, you've got your garage door openers, you, your Amazon Echoes, like there's just endless device, your, your washing machine, your, your freaking washing machine is connected to your Wi-Fi. And it's all talking to this one box and it, I think you understand this is not ideal. This, this is not going to work well. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is to create multiple hotspots throughout your house so that your device can connect to the one that's closest to it. And rather than shouting across the other house, it can just have a normal conversation, you know, from across the room from your phone to this particular Wi-Fi access point. And then somebody who's upstairs at the end of the other end of the house on their iPad, their iPad can have a normal, regular, appropriate volume conversation with the access point that's at that other end of the house. And everybody can talk nicely and communicate effectively all at the same time. So that's where 
this ubiquity Swiss Army knife access point, Wi-Fi access point, comes into play. Now, this is going to be the Wi-Fi access point here in my front room. And anytime I'm in this front room, it will connect to any devices that are, that are nearby. Now, I have other devices throughout my house, and they're not all the Swiss Army knife. Ubiquity makes a whole range of products. Uh, most of them look like, uh, they look like little uh, saucers, like flying saucers, like an alien uh, flying saucer. Uh, this one just happened, the reason why I chose this one is because this one happens to have a form factor that I can attach directly to the wall and have it face out. Uh, the flying saucer ones are typically used on ceilings, and so they radiate downward. I want this one to be on the wall and radiate out this direction, and so that's why I chose this one. Now, you can't just take one of these devices and plug it into your existing Netgear router and, and away you go. It, it's a little bit more complicated than that. And, and it's beyond the scope of this video. I'll probably do a, a follow-up video where I get into kind of the nuts and bolts of how to build a Ubiquity Unify system. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to explain from a high level uh, why Wi-Fi typically sucks in homes. Um, it used to be that you know, a home would have a laptop, uh, you know, maybe a couple phones, and maybe a streaming device. You know, years ago, but now it is not. It is not out of the question for a house to have 30, 40, 50 wireless devices all trying to connect to the home Wi-Fi network. And so homes, you know, it used to be that homes could get away with a single router, but now homes are more like small to medium-sized businesses. Uh, in the sense of, of the size of their network and the needs of, of the network that, that we have in our homes today. Uh, and Ubiquity Unify is a fantastic solution for this. I am not sponsored by Ubiquity. I bought this with my own money. I, I have used Ubiquity for about 15 years. And so I'm sharing this because of my experience with the company not because they're paying me. As I mentioned earlier, the reason why I chose this particular uh, Unify device is because of the form factor. So it has this really slick uh, plate on the back that has just two screw holes in it and you just screw it into the wall and then there you go, super easy. Um, and then it broadcasts out into the room. This is the port that I'm going to be plugging it into. And this, port here, the cable behind it, the Cat5, Cat6, goes down into my basement to my network rack and into my punch panel. And what I've done is I have connected the port that this goes to, I've connected that into my PoE switch, my power over ethernet switch. So now this port is live. I can plug in a device that accepts power over ethernet plus power and it will not only power up the device, but also transmit data across the, the cable. So the cable, uh, the, the cable does two things. It carries the power and it also carries the data. It's really slick. It's a really great way to, uh, to connect up devices. So now, like I say, I've got two cable lengths. So I just need to decide where I want to put the device. So if I put it right here, then I can plug it in there and put the device maybe like right, right there. That would be really, really good. Now I could do the longer cable. Let's see how that looks. Let's see if I do a longer cable and then I put it over here. I mean, I like that less. I, I prefer, I prefer the, the shorter, cleaner look. Just checking where I want it to go. Yeah, that is about perfect right there.
and now you can see the light comes on because it's now powered up because it's connected into that switch down in the basement. And so now, I mean, that's really all there is to it. Well, that's not totally true. I still need to get it configured, um, get it adopted into my Unify network, which is pretty straightforward once you know how to do it. Uh, probably cover that in a later video. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is how you build out an extension of your Wi-Fi network using Unify. It, it really is really slick and it's, it's pretty simple once, once you know what you're doing. So yeah, hopefully this has been informative and thanks for watching.